stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. Today I'm going to show you this fabulous technique. It's called the Northern Lights technique and of course everybody kind of has a different take on, um, on how they like it. Some say it's a little too bright, some love it. Um, the Northern Lights is definitely something that's on my bucket list and so in the meantime I will play with my stamps and create this fabulous card. So to create this I just started with a piece of cardstock and I'm just using regular Whisper White uh, cardstock. This measures four and a half by five and a half, but as you can see, I'm going to cut it down um, with my labels collection framelits, and then you can cut it into whatever size you would like. So first we're gonna get started with adding the color. And we have Tempting, Te Tempting Turquoise, Rich Razzleberry, and Daffodil Delight. And I'm using my little sponge daubers. These are the greatest things ever. I love them and use them for so many different things. So here we're just going to start with the yellow and just make big streaks all the way across. And it's best to actually go off of your piece of paper so that you end up with your darkest areas. You know, you always end up dark on the two ends. Um, you'll want those to be off the paper and not necessarily on. And you want to make sure to go really lightly all the way across so that you don't end up with splotches like that. And don't worry, I'll cover that up as we move along and you won't even be able to tell it's there. So if that does happen, you don't have to worry at all which is also another reason why sometimes I use my bigger framelits and sometimes I use the smaller ones because sometimes I need to omit certain areas. And I think I'm gonna go a little wider with this one. So now I have my yellow and I'm gonna move over to my Tempting Turquoise and I'm just going to go over it and you're actually, you're going to want to overlap some of your color because as you can see, when you overlap the color, you start to get a little bit of green. So you actually, if you didn't overlap your colors, you would end up with just the regular um, three colors that you're applying. And this way, you're actually getting some of that green to show up there. This one, I went on the wrong side of the yellow, so that's okay. We'll just add a little bit here on the end, even though we'll probably end up cutting that off. And now I'm using my Rich Razzleberry. And again, you want to overlap your colors a little bit because if you overlap the Rich Razzleberry with the yellow, you end up with a little bit of orange. And when you overlap with the Tempting Turquoise, you end up with this deep, dark blue that almost looks like a dark purple, but it almost looks like a navy as well. So we're just going to add a little bit there on the end. And see, so you can barely see that little dot there. See? Hardly see it at all. No worries. So, of course, right now you're probably thinking that this looks kind of like Joseph and the Technicolor Dream Coat. That's what I think it looks like. It looks super bright. It kind of looks like something that should be more like a rainbow and not necessarily the northern lights. But as I continue on, you'll start to see that it starts to come together. So, next we're going to take our image from the Lovely as a Tree stamp set. This is a super popular stamp set, and now that I have it and started playing with it, I definitely understand why. I'm using this image here at the bottom, so I'm just going to ink that up with some stays on ink and stamp it right in the center. And so now I have my trees there. And now I'm going to use one of my Labels Collection Framelits. And I think I'll go ahead and go with the largest one. Or, I'm sorry, it's not the largest one. It is the largest one that will fit on your card, though. But you can always go with any of the other sizes, too. Um, you know, I've used some of the smaller ones. And you could even probably get one or two out of the same card that you've created if you use the smaller ones and went like this, you could almost get two out of one image. So I'm going to run that through my Big Shot, and there you go. I'm trying to figure out a fabulous project to do with this leftover piece, because surely I can come up with something good. But that's just the, um, the reverse of your nice little cutout. 
So now that you have the cutout, we're actually going to take our Knight of Navy and our little sponge dauber, and you're just going to color in the ground down here. And just kind of use where that stamp, where the hills are for that stamp in the ground as your base. And then color in everything below that. I also brushed all of the edges. You could always stop right there. But I also brushed all of my edges. This is my favorite way to use these sponge daubers. You just kind of hold it and go at like a little bit of an angle down onto it. The more of an angle you have, the farther in you'll go. And that just kind of softens the edges. You can see it's a little darker now and doesn't look so um, rainbow-ish. The other thing you can do is you can either stop there or you can brush very lightly all over your entire thing. And I kind of go at like a little bit of a diagonal. And of course that also darkens it up a little bit and doesn't make it look so vibrant. Then the very last step is to take, you can either use your white chalk marker or you can always use your Uniball Signo uh, white gel pen and just add a few little dots to make it look like stars. And just kind of poke a dot all around in the trees, down towards the bottom, however you wish. And that's how you get the fabulous Northern Lights technique. I then layered that on a piece of, here's my, my card base that I'll go ahead and layer it on, but I did a piece of going gray and I ran that through with my perfect polka dots embossing folder just to add a little texture to it. I don't know how much you can see the polka dots in the camera. So I added that with a going gray and that measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then I also added some of our 1 8 inch ribbon, and that's in the silver. I'm going to add some dimensionals to this because what's a card without dimensionals, right? You know I love dimensionals. And one in the middle because you can't overuse dimensionals in my world. And I'm just going to sneak this right under the ribbon. And also this, uh, the card base of this is Knight of Navy. So there you have your fabulous Northern Lights technique. And I'll show you, each of them kind of come out a little different. This one looks a lot lighter and there's a lot more purple. And then this one here. So you can see each of them come out just a little bit different, but they're all fabulous in their own unique way. Be sure to check out my blog for more photos at laurasstamppad.com and don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any more videos. Happy stamping!